A perfect interplay of tires and suspension. Having the strength to control external forces. Overdo it and... You get left behind. When I'm accelerating or braking, I've got relatively little opportunity to control the forces impacting on the tires. I've somehow got to hold the thing steady in order to turn into the corner. Whenever I turn into a corner, I can ruin my tires fairly quickly. If I turn in two kilometers an hour faster, then the force pushes over the front tire. The temperature rises relatively quickly, and in next to no time, I've destroyed it. So, what are the forces working on the tires and suspension? Let's take a look at the physics. When the driver turns the wheel, mass inertia means that the car would rather go straight on. This force then pushes the car to the outside of the corner. Also impacting on the tires are circular forces. The quickly rotating wheel stays static within its axis, a bit like a spinning top. The wheel, too, doesn't want to alter its position, slows cornering, and exerts forces that penetrate into the vehicle. You have the driver, you have the car, you have the suspension, you have the tire, you have the road. And at the end, so this performance is judged by the driver. So even if you have a very good tire on the, on the car, if the driver doesn't like it, so the tire is not the one you want to have on this, on this vehicle. So then absolutely there, we need to make sure that the tire will operate properly and as the driver likes to have it, to make sure the vehicle responds like the driver wants to, to get it operating. Be it racetrack or road, what's needed is lots of contact with the surface, provided by a constant contact patch. Developers test and research this under all load conditions. A normal car tire going at increased speed has a somewhat smaller footprint, while in motor racing, for example, the car's momentum and aerodynamics really push the vehicle down onto the track. That naturally creates a larger contact patch. In research and development, everything's done to accurately align the characteristics of the tire with those of the suspension. As here at Dunlop, tomographs and powerful CAD and simulation software are used together to give the tire the characteristics needed for perfect interplay. When the driver turns the wheel, forces not only flow through the tire into the asphalt below, but the loads created also flow back into the chassis and need to be dissipated. If every component's ideally aligned, the car literally lies as flat as a ball. If the limit succeeded, the suspension gets overburdened. The forces end up within the vehicle and physics takes its toll. The accelerated mass becomes almost uncontrollable. That's because another force needs to be dealt with. With every bump in the surface vertical, jolts occur, going into the suspension and from there into the chassis. Then everything comes together, sideways, lengthways, circular and vertical forces, constantly changing. Extreme stress for suspension and tires. Only if all the components work as one will the car handle predictably when at the limit. In racing, that makes the difference between spinning off and winning. <laughs>